Chapter 251 Alex laughed helplessly after hearing Faria's words. It seems as though you do not want to be bound to the rules of the Adair family. Faria nodded before she said, I really do not want to be bound by the rules of the Adair family but I have no other way out of this. Why? Alex asked in a serious manner. I think your grandfather might change his mind after this near-death experience because of his critical illness. Furthermore, you're the reason his life was saved and he's able to live healthily for a few more years. If he's really grateful towards you, you can take advantage of this opportunity to ask him for the freedom to love and decide on the man you'd like to be married to. I believe he'll definitely give you the freedom to choose your own husband. Faria smiled bitterly and she shook her head before she said, that's impossible. Even if grandpa really loves me and feels bad for me, he wouldn't dare agree to that. Why? Alex asked with a puzzled expression on his face. Isn't your grandfather the head of the Adair family? He's the one in control of the entire Adair family and anything that he decides on would be the final decision. What would he ever be afraid of? At this time, Faria replied in a serious manner, the Adair family has developed over the years before finally becoming what it is today. All the members of the Adair family are bound by the rules set for the family. As long as everyone obeys the rules, the Adair family will always be united and indestructible. If anyone is given the freedom to break any of the rules, then the Adair family will definitely crumble and suffer a huge loss as no one would abide by the rules anymore. After that, Faria continued speaking, the Adair family has had to endure so much hardship before growing to become the powerful and wealthy family it is today. The reason why we could do it is because every one of us had the interest of the family at heart and none of the members of the Adair family has ever broken the rule. Alex sighed before he said, Faria, I've always thought that you were a very strong and powerful woman. I really did not expect you to be bound at the mercy of others too. That's right, Faria replied as she sighed. There's no way out of this as long as I am a member of the Adair family. As she spoke about it, Faria shook her head before she raised her wine glass and said, Mr. Anderson, let's not talk about all these unhappy things anymore. Come on, drink up. I'll toast you again. Alex smiled before he raised his wine glass and said, All right then. This glass of scotch is to celebrate freedom. Faria was slightly startled at this time. For freedom? She did not have any freedom at all. Even though she was very depressed, Faria forced a smile before she nodded and said, Yes. Let's drink to our freedom. Faria was already starting to get drunk after drinking this glass of wine. She stared at Alex before she sighed and said, do you know how many times I wish that I was born into an ordinary family instead? I feel that my life would not be so difficult if that was the case. I wouldn't have to face so many rules and constraints in my life and I think I'd be so much happier. Even though I hold such a high position and have endless wealth because of my family, I don't have the chance to feel any real happiness. Alex smiled slightly and said, do you also know that there are also many ordinary people who are actually more envious of people who are as rich as you are? This is because they wouldn't need to worry about money or how they are going to make ends meet. Haven't you heard people saying that they'd rather cry in a BMW than laugh on a bicycle? You might think that you'd feel very happy and content to be born into an ordinary family but this kind of ordinary life is precisely what many people are trying to get rid of. At the end of the day, isn't making more money the reason why everyone is hustling and working hard? At this time, Faria looked at Alex with a serious expression on her face before she said, Mr. Anderson, you don't seem to care about making money at all. You weren't even interested in the $20 million that they were offering you just now. In fact, you could have already made a lot of money if you would just sell the pills for millions of dollars each. However, you chose to give the pills away for free instead. Why does it seem like money means nothing to you at all? Alex smiled indifferently as he thought to himself. He did not care about money because he was not short of money at all. However, Faria did not know about the times he needed money desperately in the past. 
In the past, Alex had actually asked Lady Richard to lend him some money during her birthday banquet so that he would be able to pay for some medical expenses. Initially, Alex thought that Lady Richard would definitely lend him the money since she believed in Buddhism and it was a Buddhism teaching that stated there would definitely be good karma for every good deed done in this lifetime.